hello viewers what i have is the cutting how to cut and sew school uniform in this video i'm going to show you step by step on how to cut school uniform now because this is going to be a lengthy one i'm going to divide this video into two so it's going to be part one and part two in part one is going to be the the step by step of how to cut school uniform then in part two is going to be the swing aspect of it so let's go here is my fabric and this fabric this fabric is it here is the right side the correct side why this place is the wrong side but in a uniform like this you can hardly get the wrong and the correct side now i'm going to spread it out to cut out what i need from this fabric i'm, I'm folding it now into two equal parts this way Having folded it into two equal parts, I'm going to fold it again. So which is going to be, it means it's going to give me four. Now, as I folded it like this, I'm leaving this, this place two inches extra. And this place is going to be the front aspect of this uniform that's why i'm leaving two inches for the overlap so two inches now this is two inches now the the bust of this uh, the body of this body circumference of this uniform is 32 now I'm going to measure, I'm measuring right from this place, 32 divided by 4 gives me 8. 8 plus extra 2 or 1.5, I have my 9.5. So I'm going to mark out 9.5. Now, now, so I have 9.5. So here too. 9.5 then here 9.5 so for the length the length is 23 sorry the length is 22 plus one extra gives me 23 so this is 23 that's for the length so I'm going to use my ruler to mark out the desired length. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this place off. Then for this place, which I'm going to join or connect now so I'm going to cut off from this place to this edge like that so that's what this is where I'm going to work This is what I'm going to work on. So I will start the cutting.
nang for here i'm going to fold this in this way you know the length here is two inches i'm going to fold one inch in one inch in Then for this one to one inch in is an, an inch in then the other one in I'll now start my measurement now the back here i'm going to chalk out seven for the back from here to this place seven inches now 6.5 for the arm o arm o length so i'm going to connect this to that Now here, 1.5 inches here. Now here, the body is 32 divided by 4 gives me 8. I have my height here, then one inch for the same allowance, I have one inch here. So, I'm going to connect. the neck the neck is two inches this one here is for the back the back of the body circumference why this one here this two is for the front where the bottom will be attached so the line is two the deep is 1.5 that is for the back i have my 1.5 here i'm going to connect to the other side now for the front the front is 2.5 2.5 for the front I'm going to fold an inch just to to in order not to stress you can use pin to hold it because an inch will be folded in So 
I'm going to connect this way. This one here, for the back here, one inch or 0 0.7 inch from this point, I have something like this. We first connect, make a curve shape from this to this place. Then for the front, front aspect, I'm also going, I will connect to also meet here. So, let's cut out the armhole. Before I do that, here I will slope this one by half an inch for the slope for the neck. I mean for the shoulder, half an inch. I will now connect to this point here. Now something like this. So I'm going to start the cutting. Tracing it. Having cut the back aspect, I'm going to remove it. Removing the back, remaining the front. Since this is the tip, I'm going to connect. So that's where I'm going to cut out the front. So I'm going to fold this in. Like I said earlier on, it's good I fold it with pain or which I attach so at the end I will have something like this So this is what I'm going to have at the end of the bottom aspect. So, thing is cutting of the sleeve. I'm going to measure here. I have 14. I'll make it 13 and a half. Okay, I'm going to divide it. This is four. Now from here, I'm going to measure 3.5. Get to 3.5. Three point five. I'm going to connect this place to this edge. I'm 
Now, I'm going to make a little curve out. Now, for the mouth sleeve, the mouth sleeve I have a 12 for the mouth sleeve divided by 2 gives me 6. I have six. Then for the seam allowance, half an inch. So I'm going to connect to that place. So I'm going to cut it out. Yes, ah, uh, post. When you are cutting a hook, the reflection of the light is flowing to this place. It's not showing in this place. What did the wow look at? going to launch this place This is the right side of this fabric and this one is the right side so the right side and the right side will be in the inner will be in the inner while I'm now I will now place it like this I sew this place first that is the shoulder that's what I'm going to seal first Now, I've sealed this place. So, the other, the second part too, I'm going to seal the second shoulder, placing it like this. I'm going to seal like that. So, Having sealed the two shoulder, I'm going to measure this place. I'm going to measure it so that I will know what I'm going to cut for the collar. So I folded this one in. That's where I'm going to start. We measure. This gives me 17 inches, 17 inches. So that's the length I'm going to use to cut. This is what I'm going to use to cut out the color. The width is um, 8 inches. The length here I have um, 19 inches so i'm going to fold it into two equal parts this way
and I'm going to fold like this. I'm going to divide the other time when I measure the the color the yes I have a 17 inches now 17 inches divided by 2 gives me 8.5 inches now plus 8.5 this is 8.5 plus 0 0.5 gives me 9 inches this is 9 inches here now i'm going to have from this base to this place 1.3 inches or 1.5 let me make it 1.5 so i'm going to curve it that's 1.5 for the width here then i left one inch out from here to here so i'm going to connect from here to this place okay then here i'm going to lower this place half an inch Connecting to this point here. So I'm going to cut out. 